Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you a spooky story. This is a story that is completely true. This happened to me in real life yesterday. Now, I got a little clip of it for yesterday's vlog, but instead of including it in yesterday's vlog, I'm going to include it in today's because it's more relevant to this story that I'm telling you now. This story is called Eight Minutes in the Hypo. It began with this clip. All right, so uh, day one, uh, we're doing a physics lab. <laughs> Uh, everything should go Actually, well. No, no. Hold We're on. Just oh, in a dark, God. just in a dark oh. closet at school. Um, the closet had the closet. Oh, there's another closet in here. Oh. <laughs> All right, Asito, you're going in there. Oh my God! Can I see a little plan that you're going to pass outside? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I, I expect nothing to attack right, Can you turn this. it off? Uh, oh, there's empty closet. Oh, 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 there we go. We, have light. we were doing a physics project based on light and. Because of that, we needed a dark room. Now everyone else in the class just did it at various dark places around the classroom, like away from windows and doors, but we wanted to take it a step further, so we asked where the darkest place on campus was. We were directed to a storage closet in a neighboring classroom. This storage closet, however, hadn't been used for years. The four of us doing the project entered the room. It was completely dark. There was a light switch. So we turned on the light and it wasn't completely dark, but it was completely dark aside from the light. And in order to do the project, we needed it to be completely dark. That was the point of using that room. So once we were alone in the room, we turned off the light. Now at this point, I hadn't really had time to look at the room other than to notice a few cobwebs, which indicate probably the presence of spiders in the room. And there was sort of a sink thing, with a faucet, but that was about all I noticed before we turned out the lights. Now it was completely dark in the room, like pitch black. We turned on some phone lights, you know, so we could see what we were doing, plug in the lamp that we were going to use for the experiment, and we shine it at this wall, and there's like a particle board thing there, and it doesn't have anything on it, except it has all these things written on it. It doesn't have any, like, papers or anything attached to it, I should say, but it has all sorts of messages written all over it. Now, most of these are just, like, physics stuff or, like, chemistry, I, I don't know, but, but one thing that didn't really seem to fit with the rest. It just said eight minutes in the hypo, H-Y-P-O. And then we did our experiment, kind of ignoring the room. There were also a few closets, which apparently were empty, we checked. And then we left and nothing happened. I suppose you're wondering what the scary part of this story is. That's where I come in. And by that, I mean, uh, it's up to interpretation, really. We're not sure what eight minutes in the hypo means, but I think we've reached the conclusion that that room is called the hypo. We've decided that. That's how we've chosen to interpret it. And we have a few theories about what eight minutes in the hypo means. First of all, it could mean that you only have eight minutes in that room to survive. Now, our experiment took more than eight minutes, so maybe you could say that that disproves that theory, and you'd be right. Our other theory is that if a group of people spend eight minutes in that room, one of them is replaced by a doppelganger who isn't them but appears just like them and acts just like them. Spooky. I have no idea whether that one happened. It wasn't me. You, you gotta believe me. This is, I'm the real me. This is me. I'm still me. What, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, if you're the real me, then uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, it's uh, green. Wrong answer. Prepare to be punched. <clears throat> Ow, jeez. Okay, sorry, here, you can have your vlog back. Thank you very much. All right, guys, now I'm the real me here. I'll finish the story, though, that that doppelganger of me was telling, because it was all true. Another theory was that since we get a lot of earthquakes in California, kind of a lot, it's not really that often, but, like, you know, relative to other parts of the world, we figured maybe the entire school, which is supposedly built to resist earthquakes, maybe it's actually not, and if an earthquake happens, the entire school will crumble in seconds, except for the hypo, which will last for eight minutes. So if we ever have someone important on campus, like the president, and an earthquake happens, we'll put him in the hypo, and he'll survive and everyone else won't. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up because I think it's interesting that one simple phrase scrawled on a wall somewhere can inspire stories about how it came to be. I'm considering writing a short story, a scary short story, or maybe even making a scary short film. Horror film, that's what those are called, that's a genre of film. Entitled Eight Minutes in the Hypo. And if I do that, that'll be pretty cool. What's your theory about the hypo? What is eight minutes in the hypo? Does hypo stand for something? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.